Yo, what's going on guys? Straight back again and bringing that video. So, um, this will be for The Walking Dead episode. Are we at five now? Yeah, Walking Dead episode five. Um, very cool. Uh, almost halfway through the season. Uh, any of you looking for the episode itself, I'll put uh, a link in the description to where you can find it. This is going to be a review video of the episode. Spoilers, it will include spoilers. Um, so let's get right down to it. Uh, this episode was better than the last episode. There's no question about that. Um, and much better. This was, uh, the last episode, as you guys know, is one of my least favorite of the entire series. And uh, it was just really slow and everything like that. And you can check out my review on that if, if you like. Uh, it's in my channel here. Uh, this episode, on the other hand, was fantastic. I, I thought this episode was very exciting. Um, one of the best of the series? Mm, I don't know. But, um, you know, it's definitely up there as a really good episode. I wouldn't give it like a 9 out of 10 or anything like that, but I'd say definitely, you know, an 8, eight out of 10, something somewhere along there. Because it was a good builder episode, it, uh, you know, a lot of animosity building up, as you can see, between uh, Herschel and, uh, you know, the group, um, Rick's group, and, you know, Herschel's just, they're just kind of, you know, I mean, you have that many people there. As nice of a guy as Herschel is, he can't be comfortable with letting that many people just, you know, move right in. I mean, how many members do we have in this group? What is there, like, I don't know, eight eight people, roughly? Ten, maybe? I, I don't know. You'd have to go through and count them. But, you know, quite a bit of people just moving in here and kind of, you know, living with them and that kind of stuff and causing a whole lot of problems. I'm sure, you know, Hirsch will be pissed about the situation between his daughter and, uh, and Glenn. Um, and as well, like you said, you know, I'm surprised you people have survived this long because they're, they're like, every episode somebody's getting hurt. Or something's going on you know in this episode the scenes with Daryl I thought were just awesome uh, very exciting very exciting scenes with Daryl and uh, Merle uh, at the beginning when we saw Merle for the first time and we didn't see that he had uh, both hands there at, at first I was kind of like you know I was really hoping that it was you know he was just seeing things because you know obviously he fell down a cliff so he hit his head and you know that was uh, obviously that would you know it could make you delirious uh, as well as, you know, he was injured really badly. So, you know, he starts seeing things and all that. And I thought that was well portrayed by both actors. Um, nice to see uh, Merle back in the show, even if it's just kind of uh, as part of um, Daryl's psyche. You know, nice to see him, you know, back in there. And, yeah, I mean, you didn't really know at first if it was really Merle. Um, I was hoping for the life of me that it wasn't really Merle. I mean, Merle just showing up out of nowhere like that would have been totally ridiculous. Um, but they didn't show the hand right away until a little bit, so you so you kind of knew, yeah, he's seen things. Even if you kind of thought right off the bat, like I, I kind of thought right off the bat, but my faith in the directors and stuff kind of made me think, oh, maybe it is him. You know, maybe they just threw him back in here. The thing with The Walking Dead is it's supposed to be realistic for the environment it, it, it has. It's supposed to be realistic for the world that these characters are in. So you can't, you know, you shouldn't have things like that just happening just out of nowhere, you know, like just right in the woods, you know, <laughs> there's Merle right there. So that all worked out really well. Um, the part where Daryl gets shot, oh man, was that exciting? Because I actually, at first, I thought, you know, <laughs> you know, Andrea, if you guys read the comments, you know that she has, you know, um, amazing vision and <laughs> and she's a fantastic shot. Of course, at this point in the show, she's, you know, she's still learning and stuff, so she's not, you know, a perfect shot. And plus, you know, if you're using, you know, from that distance, uh, if you don't give the person lead time, then you know, it's very likely that that you'll miss. But from that distance, if somebody's moving, it's 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 really hard to hit them. So. Uh, you know, it's not easy to do that, and um, like I said, you got to give them lead time and all that stuff. You got to judge their mo their movement, and shoot in front of them, so that they kind of, by the time the bullet gets there, you know, they're they're right in the line. So it sounds like she didn't do that. She was just off. He moved his head just a little bit between the time she fired and the bullet actually got there, and that's what caused her to miss. It looks like um, just a little bit. She just scraped him. So, man, Daryl's definitely one of the coolest characters of the show. I definitely, you know, I like to see the characters die off in in you know the, the the walking dead but at the same time i don't certain characters i don't want to see die off you know if, they, if they're really well portrayed and they're really interesting i i don't want to see them you know get killed like uh daryl at this point i, I don't want to see daryl get killed at this point because he's just too interesting of, of a character he's just uh he's you know he's too nice to have around in in the uh, the story and we didn't have a character like that in the comic book so he's in my opinion he's the best addition to the tv show um of the new characters um, so to get rid of him just like that would really suck. If you're going to do it, I think I think you should do it at like um, maybe a season finale or you know something like that, a big time in the show. So that was really cool how it kind of made us think that that was what happened, but then it didn't. Um, very very interesting there. Um, the other parts I can really talk about are the stuff between uh, Shane and, and you know Rick and how they're kind of 
they're starting to, uh, you know, each one has different opinions about what to do about the situation with uh, Sophia. And, um, you know, Sh Shane obviously doesn't doesn't want to keep looking for her. He just wants to pretty much move on, and, and that's it. Um, Rick, of course, does. And Lori, you know, she's, <laughs> she's a bitch. Uh, she wants to move on, too. She just doesn't give a shit, it seems like, anyway. So, you know, a lot of stuff going on between, between them, and that's kind of starting to heat up, so... That's all very interesting. Um, good episode overall. Let me think. What else is there for me to say? Uh, I think pretty soon in the next few episodes we're going to see, you know, like, oh, of course, the barn. How could I forget the barn? Um, so, yeah, so faithful to the comic book still. You know, still faithful to the comic books. Uh, I thought that was very cool how Glenn kind of stumbled in there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and he's going to try to keep it uh, a secret. You know that's not going to work. Guarantee, um, you know, shit's going to go down pretty soon and Herschel's going to kick them out basically for the most part um you know whether or not they find Sophia before then I think they will personally I think they will find Sophia um I actually I guarantee you they will find Sophia uh furthermore I think it'll probably be Daryl that does find Sophia um which I like and and then right at right before they find her or right after they find her um you know they're going to probably have to leave Herschel's farm that's all there is to it and maybe we'll see some of the uh, we'll share it Wilshire Estates, is that what it's called? I think something like that. Um, so yeah, definitely a better episode than the last episode. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about about this episode. Um, who do you agree with? Do you agree with Shane or do you agree with uh, with Rick? Me personally, I gotta say that um, I think that um, you know the the time is getting pretty pretty short now. But again, they did find some evidence down there. So basically, what I would do if I was them is I would take maybe maybe one or two more days and go down and search through that area that Daryl was at further in there and see if they can find her and then if they can't then they leave. Let me know what you guys think. Would you leave right away or would you would you go and search and see if maybe you know near the she's somewhere down near near the uh, near the doll. Um, yeah so that's pretty much it for this this one guys. I'll see you next week for the next one. Should be absolutely awesome. This season is just turning out to be fantastic. Um, I was wrong to judge about the the budget cuts and everything at least at this point. Um, you know they can still make the show extremely exciting and suspenseful without spending too much money um, very very good stuff alright guys that's it for this one later peace